ship. A single burst from his machine gun could cut a man in half. Tread carefully, boss. Well, hey gamers. Welcome back to the roadside attraction. <laughs> uh, when we left off yesterday, we had just finished taking out the wall here and setting up our nice... Uh, "Quote unquote escape route down and up from the forest, making this place virtually impenetrable to zombies on the top layer, and it also might have broken our leg a bit. <laughs> so there's a few big things we need to do before we can really say this. Oh my God, fellas, we're watching Woodcraft, our one-stop shop for home improvement. Why are they playing it? 1410. This is the actually uh, the second take I had of recording this video. The first one I had uh, walked outside of the Gigamart after talking about what I planned on doing and there was just some serious lighting errors so I uh, walked back inside restarted and hopefully there's no lighting errors if there is this time I'm gonna have to look up a uh, fix for that problem I can put a screenshot of what I'm talking up in post here so you guys can see why I didn't uh, go on and record the rest of the video but uh, so what we need to do is we need to fortify this top layer I would like to have a lot more room so bunch of floor here just so we have more space and we're not constantly worried about falling over the sides right uh, also set up some walls here for the same reason <laughs> and along with that we're gonna need to get some books which is probably what we're gonna do today so that we can uh, just get all of our skills up when we need to this is taking out how long is this woodcraft show at uh, 210 to 240 <laughs> uh, because all the books here let me open up the skill tree they help you increase everything from these skills down. So not the combat or your fitness and strength, but like all your carpentry, cooking, farming, all of this stuff. And it takes a real long time to level up some of these skills without them. So first stop, there's a school just down the road here. We don't even need to take the car, it's that close. And then after that, we can try clearing out our way up to the, uh, I think it's Enigma Books, might be Book Naked. I'm not sure the name of the bookstore in this town, but uh, that's the first step here. You gotta invest in yourself to make, uh... It's gonna say money, but you don't really need money in a zombie apocalypse. To make more darts. <laughs> there you go. That's the one thing you need to keep on you at all times, right? So yeah, I got to about here, just trying to hope the rendering went away, and it didn't. So, killed these two guys, or maybe three. Yeah, these three. After this, I have no idea what's going on in this school. <laughs> And one of the points I made in that scrapped recording is that this game, the uh, infection like outbreak happened on the 4th of July. So why is there so many people in this cafe? Oh my fuck. Oh shit, that's the helicopter. <laughs> oh fuck me. Oh of course, shit. It was bound to come sometime, alright. Uh, fuck the elementary school. We need to get the hell out of here. So if you hear that loud thing currently flying right above us, that is the helicopter. And uh, it's so fucking loud that all the zombies from all over town are going to come right up to us. So we don't want to be anywhere near our base. If our car would start, I might be able to get away from it. <laughs> Shit. Well, there goes my plans of raiding for fucking books, huh? Jesus. Maybe it's a good thing that first recording... Although, no. The books are like literally right past that cafeteria so we would have gotten them uh, fucking lighting arrows man <laughs> oh my god I guess we're just gonna drive around for a bit <laughs> oh man I wonder if I like got a new beta patch update I'm seeing all kinds of weird shit <laughs> well we could go check out how all those corpses we left uh, at the gas station are doing now yeah, they're still there. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, one of the things I meant to do, but I forgot, was uh, we actually left a shit ton of gas cans in the bar. Seeing as how we're not really doing much better right now with this military helicopter dragging all the zombies to us. Might as well see how it's going in here. Yeah, here, six gas cans. Then, here, pick those up quickly. I also want to grab some bourbon if I can. I just wanted to try something cheeky out. <laughs> okay, here, now. Crafting. Yeah, this is what we want. 
All right, let's get back in the car. <laughs> and then preemptively put that to secondary. I'm just gonna throw these in the back seats. You can't start the car while you're moving gas to the back. Makes sense. Oh. I guess I just pressed the wrong key. <laughs> Maybe you can, then. Oh, we might not ever know. Alright. Seems like that helicopter is gone for now, but it likes to do multiple uh, passes through. Oh, we're over encumbered now. Uh, let's throw the can of oats in the bag and actually eat half this coffee. Maybe just a quarter. Don't really want the tired mood. We gotta be on guard here. The zombies could be anywhere. I'm hearing some. Oh. <laughs> I should uh, maybe look into all the recordings and see how many telephone poles I've hit. I know I hit one yesterday with uh, that awful van back and forth. And then one when I was driving here. Damn, we'll knock the car upside down. There's three here. Uh, yeah, there's that helicopter again. See, I wanted to try see how these Molotovs work, because I haven't really used them before. But I don't know if I want to use one just throwing it at this one guy. Come here, come here. So, if you remember, when we cleared this area out, there's no zombies. And it's actually quite interesting how the game works. It's, uh, even if you have respawn set off, the zombies will migrate from the area. So in this case, like, all over the town to fill up the empty spots. So that's like, why is this guy crawling? <laughs> um, so maybe like they hear the sounds of all the commotion that led to so many dying. And that's why they're moving around. Which I think is pretty cool. It really uh, makes it so you don't have, like clear out one street and then you're good for the rest of the game. Here, I just want to sort of find a huge group of them. Hold on, throw a Molotov in and then just, I don't see anything going wrong with this plan. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's probably enough here. We'll give the people in the helicopter a nice view, too. Here. Drinks around the house. This... Okay, apparently I don't know how to throw them. <laughs> uh, do I not have the lighter equipped? Where'd that lighter go? Equip secondary. Maybe when I took the machete out and fucked with that. Oh, uh, there sure is a lot of them here. <laughs> Try to pull up up here and we can just pop one in. I just don't want a whole bunch of them blocking me getting back to my car because uh, no matter how this plan turns out, I don't want to be anywhere near these people. Oh, fire in the hole, baby! I looked away. How'd it go? Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I wonder if they light each other on fire now. Like, let's try to glump all these non-lit on fire ones near these burning ones. Come on, get all close. You gotta meet new people, zomboids. <laughs> oh my Christ. Holy shit. I think it is spreading. It's hard to tell. If they walk through this fire, they definitely get set on fire. I'm not sure if it spreads from zomboid to zomboid, though. It also does not seem to kill them very quickly. So, uh, if you were hoping to clean out a street, then make a run for it. Instead of running into a horde of zombies, you're gonna have to run into a horde of burning zombies. <laughs> I don't know. Might be worth just, uh, trying to fight them normally. <laughs> that is cool, isn't it? <laughs> there was no aiming reticle for that either, at least not that I have turned on. So I just hummed it. <laughs> it's good to see that you don't need uh, pinpoint precision to get some work done. Holy crap, look at that. wonder how long it takes to kill them. It's also spreading all over the grass here, so don't do this anywhere near your base. I wonder if this is going to uh, spread to the dart store. Look at all this dense grass it could uh, spread over. See, why aren't these guys dying? <laughs> that helicopter's coming back again, huh? They want to see the rerun. <laughs> the action is still here, baby. <laughs> oh. I mean, if you really want to leave a path of destruction in your wake, I mean, this is a pretty goddamn good way to do it. <laughs> Look at this. 
this guy. He doesn't even care. He's separated from the rest of the on fire ones. Like, yeah, I got fucking better shit to do. Just walking around in the road. <laughs> it looks like the fire is starting to die down, though, so... These guys haven't died yet. Does it not? Surely it kills them, right? I literally have no idea how these Molotovs work. <laughs> well, I think these guys are spreading the fire to the grass they're walking on. Oh, that could be catastrophic if you bring it near your base. Oh, that's really... See, that's the type of thing you need to know if you're ever considering breaking this out and, like, uh... Shit hit the wall scenario. Well, listen, that's been fun, but we might as well like look for some generators while we're out here. <laughs> I was hoping that would uh, kill them a bit quicker. Maybe when we get back into town, they'll be dead. Now, yeah, here's the burger joint. If we go up this way. Should be a couple of shacks that can have a generator up here. My memory's right. Yeah, here we go. A fucking helicopter above? I'll tell you right now that I do not plan on shutting this- Oh, okay, there is a generator. Uh, okay, we gotta be quick. You? Listen, you gotta die. You gotta die quick. And... Oh, you already broke the window for us. So kind. Thank you for helping me out. Remove this grass. Broke... Sorry, not grass. We're removing grass on the other end of town. We gotta remove the broken glass. Metal bar, darts, welder's mask. I don't know if we have one of those, actually. Grab that. Take generator. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm trying to work here. <laughs> Get out of my shop. <laughs> okay. How much do these weigh again? Is it like 40, 50? We're not going to be able to store it in the car, so we're going to have to hold it. Uh, did we ever read the how to use generators manual, actually? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find one in one of the two book places we were hoping to raid today. I uh, weren't lucky enough to do it. <laughs> That should be... Uh, that helicopter did, like, quite a few passes over. I have three or something. That should be all the action we need. Uh, let's see how our firestorm's doing. It's down here, right? <laughs> I think, anyway. Oh, wait, did I use the Molotov right next to the gas station? Oh, that's some big brain play. Oh, okay, it's pretty far away. <laughs> uh... There's no bodies. Did they all just get completely cremated, or do they just get put out when you leave? I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll look that up after I record this and put the answer on screen on how those work. <laughs> if I remember. Or I'll sound like a complete idiot when this uh, video is up and I didn't put that answer on the screen. Either way, sounds pretty good, right? <laughs> now, just one thing. We need to keep our head on a swivel, because we were standing around like an asshole in front of our base, trying to get our car to start. So there might be a whole bunch of them there. <clears throat> and we're also over-encumbered to hell because we're carrying a generator. So, not the best fighting condition right now. Or maybe we brought enough of them away when we did get out of Dodge. Or one last option. Maybe all the ones around here are dead. Nope. Okay. One, two, three, four. Alright, here's the plan. Place the generator down as soon as we can. Drop generator. Eat some oatmeal. Crucial step. Do not forget to eat the oatmeal. <laughs> and... Oh, I thought one would be at the door. That's sort of an honest aid here going, don't we? <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like too, too many are here, though. Let's finish them off. You guys are lucky you didn't get the Molotovs. <laughs> That was really fun to watch. I mean, I, how effective was it? I couldn't tell you. But it was fun watching them squirm around. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Uh, just you? Come on. I got work to do. <laughs> uh, long blade's getting there. Alright, let's shut this car off. And then actually now, let's go to the book store. <laughs> or school. <laughs> so that helicopter... Um, if you don't know what that does, uh, if you're, like, asleep, it might not wake you up. At least if you have the heavy sleeper trait. So you might just wake up and find that your base is Whoa, Christ! Where the fuck did all of you come from? Alright, looks like we do have a bit of work to do. You might find your base is swarmed. Much how this school, which is where it started, was swarmed. Uh, where we started hearing the helicopter. Probably. Come on, come on. Uh, 
Uh, might need to go get the car for this one. There's a hell of a lot of them, and I'm getting tired. Uh, perfect combination. <laughs> uh, we'll get these ones down anyway. Got any digital watches by any chance? Oh, you do. Thank you. Very kind. <laughs> uh, how many more are left? Eh, not too many. No, we should be good here. We don't need to go back to the car. And one, two, down you go. Now he goes. How about you? You want to go down? No, not yet. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, might have taken a beta blocker if I was thinking. There's you down. That's on the ground. That's nice. This one with the uh, sort of Chad here. That's an active one. She's gone in like a few bite attempts on me here. We're the adversary. <laughs> oh, nothing good on them. What's this guy doing? There's more, man. Jesus. Just want some books. We can talk about this, guys. Oh, hold on. That's a police vest here. Let me get the hammer out. I don't want to break it. Can you just get on the ground? Thank you. That simplifies the equation a whole hell of a lot for me. <laughs> As for the rest of you, you're getting the blade. <laughs> I just heard one step on some glass up there. So we're not quite done yet. The school might be crawling with them for all we know. Listen, there's two types of people in this world, Zomboid. Those who are going to get books from the school. And those who are not Dwayne Ten, alright? The odds aren't in your favor here. <laughs> and there you go. More, huh? I'm starting to get flies buzzing around here. There's so many. <laughs> Plenty of watches, though. That's nice, at least. Uh, letter opener. Oh, the t they didn't even have a police vest or anything. I could have just used a machete. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> All right. Now, if we had made it in here before the helicopter event, this would have been a pretty simple job. But now we need to keep our head on a swivel here. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe they were all just coalesced in the parking lot. So these are what we're looking for. Uh, newspaper. Newspaper. Uh, how to use generators. That's huge. Engineer, already read. Already read. Take both of these. Take that. Actually, wait, do we already have carpentry for it? Okay, that book. Actually useless. <laughs> uh, back to this one. Haven't read that. Take it. Take that. Take the newspaper. Uh, forage for beginners. That's a good one. Advanced electricity. Sure. I uh, haven't read that. Take the newspaper. You can do some cheeky shit with newspaper. I don't want to spoil it, but uh, it's good. You'll see Soon enough. <laughs> uh, take that. And I'm not talking about reading them. <laughs> uh, I'll take expert forging. Beginners, no. Mechanics for beginners. What's her? Literally zero. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, unread, take that. Take the newspaper. Like, you're a bunch somewhere in the school. Advanced cooking, yeah, no. Uh, don't need that. We might already be getting doubles of these magazines. I'm not too sure here. <laughs> uh, newspaper, can export. That's a good one. Guy needs a smoke. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Stay for intermediates. Take the newspaper. Oh, you can't loot while smoking. That's fair. There you go. Then take the advanced carpentry. Take herbalist. That's a really good one. That and the how to use generators are two very crucial pieces of literature. Uh, take it. Don't need any of those. All right. Uh, oh, there's two newspapers there. Okay, now we probably got doubles of some of those because I wasn't paying too much attention. Grab two on the floor. Grab one. Two on the floor. Grab one. Okay, nice. And while we're here, we might as well look around and see if we can't find a bigger backpack than the duffel bag on the lockers up here. I think there is some right above us, though, from what I'm hearing. Oh, big hiking bag. That's perfect. Uh, we can sort out later how we want to handle that. Uh, did I get that video? Yep, perfect. Just another thing to deconstruct for electrical. Cube, duffel bags, 
I can grab a few more duffel bags while not. Never know if you wanna... Because <clears throat> you can hold these uh, bags in your primary and secondary slots like a weapon. And they are still... Thanks for the sound, Zomboid. Very cool. Pack of darts in the lockers. <laughs> uh... Yeah, let's not get too greedy. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, fucking... <laughs> okay, okay. I see you, Zomboid. I see you. One pack of darts too many. <laughs> I think we got away with it, though. They're gonna have to break down that door. And we are exceptionally tired, so... Oh, shit. Yeah? You two wanna play, huh? Just because I'm over-encumbered and tired doesn't mean I don't know how to swing on the machete, baby! <laughs> Those two went down really easy. Uh, and it stayed out, though. That's unfortunate. Come on, man. I got a quota to meet here. <laughs> Alright. Let's drop this stuff back up. You know what? We don't have anything to store this in. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll try to bring some more storage up. Well, the last time that didn't work out too well. Uh... Here, this fridge. You're coming up. Oh, still have stuff in the freezer. No? Are these all... Oh, too heavy for inventory. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, let's just throw our bags on the floor when we get up here. So... Get this down. It'll still be too heavy. The max you can ever hold for as far as picking up items go is 50 kilos. There is some cheeky shit you can do to sometimes get above it, like, uh, for instance, if you're at a gas station and you have a lot of empty gas containers, you can fill those up and it'll go above 50. But for the most part, you're not going to get much more than 50. Alright, here we go. <laughs> and we actually got it. That's perfect. Come on. You know you want to go up that rope. <laughs> all right, we can probably throw all the food in the fridge. Let's just re-equip all the shit we threw on the floor. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take off uh, your round neck sweater before you can lift up a fridge. Remember this, this will come in handy uh, sometime in the future for you in real life. <laughs> all right, so what you can do if you want to swap uh, backpacks, but you don't want to fuck around with all the items. It's, you just equip this big hiking bag as uh, primary or secondary. And then grab all the shit in your current backpack one. Throw it in the new one. Do a bit of time speed up. Then, what you do is you go in and equip on back. Just like that. <laughs> So, I guess, let's just grab all the food and throw it in the fridge. And that's sorted. <laughs> Funny how uh, cigarettes are considered uh, food for the game's menu. I guess it makes sense that it's like a consumable item, but you don't really ever think sort of like I'm going to go eat a cigarette, you know? <laughs> uh, is there any other food in the shelves here, maybe? Yeah, canned sardines. There we go. Now, we can throw the books in one of these things. All sorts of literature coming in hot. <laughs> Alright, and what else? We could probably just disassemble all these uh, electronic things. Oh, did I get electronics for beginners? Yes, yes I did. Alright, fine. You guys can live another day. <laughs> there we go. Throw that in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh... Oh, and the duffel bags, yeah. Probably don't need to hold those. Now, what's our machete's durability? It's not looking too hot. Let's uh, grab a fresh one here. Look at that. <clears throat> Pitch gold star. Things you love to see. <laughs> Let's grab maybe canned beans. I'm feeling some canned beans. <laughs> Get those in you. And take a little nap. All right. Well, that was a very successful run. Uh, <laughs> took a while. Found out how Molotovs worked. Oh, someone's below us. I'm not worried about it. What are they going to do? Get up here? <laughs> I don't think so. 
Unless there's another set of stairs in this building, in which case my hubris would be my doom. No. Yeah, they're just sort of sitting down there, aren't they? I kind of don't want to take this down. They're going to be right there waiting for me. Here, maybe I can bait them to the other side of the store. You guys were supposed to wait for me to finish setting this place up before you attacked me. It's common courtesy. Come on. Oh, hey. Well, we're in time for the... What's it called? Carpentry show. <laughs> uh, let's read the How to Use Generators magazine. And... Where's that card list? Yeah, these two. <clears throat> you gonna let me see some carpentry show here? Come on. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Forgotten Element. Little Book. This has nothing to do with carpentry. <laughs> oh, those bastards lied to me. <laughs> Alright, well. Is it just this guy? I saw some on the other end of the store right here. Oh, shit. Okay. That was really, really unsafe. That's a problem. If we didn't have a helmet, we would have just got bit. <laughs> we can wait right below here. Okay, let's deal with that right now. We're running low on time, but, uh, this is pretty fucking important. They also got our gloves. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess those were the ones down there. Lucky dice roll. I mean, we take those, but... Shit, do I have nails on me? No, okay, let's grab those. Do we have a hammer? Yes. Oh, did they break the sheet rope, man? I'm gonna have to... Okay, 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 okay. One thing at a time. So let me show you what my backup plan is in case, for whatever reason, the sheet rope to get to the top layer of our base is broken. What you have to do is grab some nails and a plank. There we go. And what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> so what we can do is just walk back up these stairs and build a floor back over. I mean, it's is it the perfect solution? No, but... It'll get the job done. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to need to grab that sledgehammer again. Where did I put that thing? I'll get some new leather gloves on too. Very nice. <laughs> uh, is it in this one? Yes. Quick primary or both hands. There we go. And where were those nails? Open one. Destroy. That done, nice. And throw the sledgehammer back in because it's not good for our guy's knees, especially when he has a broken foot. <laughs> Grab one of these sheet ropes, if you'd be so kind. Thank you. And do I have to have the hammer out? What's the problem? Do I have not uh, got nails? Got a sheet rope? Do I need two sheet ropes? Huh, okay, fair enough. There we go. Tin can down. Yeah, you know, let's just make like a airlock sort of system for this way down here. Uh, this. Oh, that's actually good shit. Yeah, take the cereal, take the coffee, put the rest of this on the floor. Disassemble these shelves. Alright. Got a couple, uh, a couple nails, a few pieces of planks here. And where's that last one? Perfect. And get a wooden wall. So where is the exact center of this? You know what we should do is set up the rope over here. <laughs> uh, figure that out later. Here, let's get this. Probably want the door there. Let's place one here. Perfect. Another wall here. And now we're going to need to break this stuff again. Throw this on the floor. Oats, disassemble shells. Perfect. Two planks, huh? You're too kind. <laughs> Take out its brother as well. Perfect. Well, this is good because uh, this will show you guys how the construction of this game works. You can do pretty well anything you uh, set your mind to, or make anything, rather. Takes time, though. <laughs> So when I do a big remodeling of the Gigamark to fit our needs, I'll probably just do a time-lapse so you guys don't have to sit through in real time. But it's good to see it the first time. 
And this is just a really quick patch up job. Now I don't have a doorknob, so I won't be able to make a door. That's a problem. <laughs> is there a sink anywhere here? Oh, perfect. Uh, here we go. Fill. That's the orange soda. Fill all. Perfect. More food on me. Can of oats, eat a half. Good, good, good. And let's just finish up these walls, and uh, next episode, the first thing we do is get that door ready. <laughs> Disassemble shelves. That helicopter really picked a annoying time to show up, didn't it? <laughs> right next to our base. Car wouldn't start. Uh, we got away with it, though. We got away with it. <laughs> uh, what more can you really ask for? Assemble these shelves. Alright, got two more planks. Alright, you know, this actually, uh... I'm looking at my timer. Alright, I'll just finish the frames. Then we'll call it an episode. Next episode, we'll get these done right away. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to build another. One thing after, uh... <laughs> with the other, right? <laughs> Alright, well... Dwayne Tenney survives another day. I've been the Roadside Attraction. Thanks for watching.